Welcome back. In the last segment, we made a high level plan for designing our string class. Now we are going to jump into the implementation of it. Okay, so let us start off with A equal to PQR. So this is an assignment statement. We want the character string PQR to be stored in our string variable A. How should that happen? Clearly, as we said, A dot PTR should be pointing to the string PQR. And our rule was that A dot PTR should point to things on the heap. Okay? Now since we said that, we cannot immediately just directly set a dot PTR to PQR. After all, we know PQR and we know that PQR is a const char PTR. So we cannot just write a dot PTR equal to whatever that pointer is because we decided beforehand that the member PTR will point only to the heap memory. Okay. Why are we doing that? Well, if we know that it is only going to point to the heap memory, then we can delete it. If you do not know that, if there is a possibility that sometimes maybe it points to the heap memory, sometimes it points to activation frame, then we cannot delete it. And therefore, in order to be able to delete it confidently, whatever data it points to should always be on the heap. And therefore, we must first copy the character string constant to the heap. Okay? All right. So that is the first consideration that we must copy PQR to the heap okay? because, because it in general it may not be on the heap. Okay? But then there is also another consideration. Okay? A dot PTR we want to set to point to this PQR, okay? but it is already pointing to some variable on the heap. That is what our, our convention is. Okay? Well, unless it is null, but uh, in general it could be pointing to some variable on the heap. So what do we do? We are making a dot PTR point to something else. So this variable that it points to is going to be useless and therefore we should be deleting it. Okay? Why is that? Because we are guaranteed that no other pointer points to that variable. Okay? So therefore, we can just delete, okay? delete a dot PTR. So that is, that is all there is to it. Okay? So the way the implementation works, a equal to PQR, for a equal to PQR, we should do what I just said, but the way to do it is that this statement for this statement C++ makes a call to a dot operator equal to, okay, to operator equal to with a being the receiver and PQR being the argument. And so whatever I just said has to be put inside this function. Okay? So we have to overload this function. Okay? So what are the types of argument? What is the type of the argument to this member function operator equal to? Well, so this is a character string constant okay? and we know that this is represented by a variable of type const char star and whose address is the starting address of this array. Okay? So the member function operator uh, equal to will have a parameter constant char star so we can just, so this call will be a valid call. Okay. Then what value should it return? So this is a little tricky. Okay. Now A equal to PQR wants us to assign PQR into A. But if you remember, we can chain assignments. Okay. So what does that mean? We can write something like B equal to A equal to PQR. So if this assignment operator is a part of this expression, then this assignment ex operator is supposed to produce a value. Okay? And that value should be returned by the member function operator equal to. So what is the value that, it is, that this is supposed to produce? Well, it is supposed to produce a reference to this A itself. Okay? So from which we can pick up the value. Okay? So the return value should be 
the left hand side. So, it should be this A itself ok and the return type must be the must be a reference to string because A has type string. So, we should be returning a reference to that string ok. So, here is the code. So, we have we are defining a member function operator equal to ok in the string this will this will go into the string class and it will take so it will be operating on uh, it will be operating on uh, a string a string will be the receiver and it will be receiving as argument a character string constant. So, some a variable of type cons char star and let us call that variable RHS ok. So, first of all we said that if we are if we are implementing this so we are changing a dot ptr ok. So, a is the receiver we are changing a dot ptr. So, whatever a dot ptr is pointing to should should be deleted, but since a is the receiver then this is just ptr ok. Remember that if it is if a member appears here without any qualification then it is just the pointer member of that receiver. So, we are going to delete that ptr. So, effectively what has happened now is that if we were assigning we were executing this statement the memory that a was pointing to a dot ptr was pointing to has now been returned back to the heap ok. Now, we said that we have to make a copy of this pqr on the heap. So, how do we do that? Well, we are going to allocate an array of size length of this RHS. So, for pqr it will be just 3 plus 1 byte to store this the null character ok. So, how do we do that? So, in section 15.1.4 we had this length function which we talked which we mentioned earlier and we just call that. So, RH length of RHS will tell us how long RHS is we add one to that and we allocate a, um, a very uh, an array on uh, on the heap. So, mu does that and its address is put into ptr ok. So, this is the array that has been allocated we have not yet moved the data into it. So, this whatever that string constant RHS is it only its length has been used up the data actually has not been used up. So, the next step is to actually do the copy. So, again we had this s copy function which is very simple which actually just copies every element of this into this until we reach the null and the null is also copied ok. So, there is a simple loop but anyway you can get that function from this section. And finally, we are going to return this receiver itself. So, remember a equal to pqr got translated into a dot operator equal to of pqr ok. So, this is the receiver and we want to return the receiver and here is how we return the receiver ok. So, this is a special word in C++ ok. So, let me just explain that to you ok. So, this is a C++ keyword and inside a member function this is a pointer to the receiver ok. So, star this would mean the receiver itself ok. So, here that is exactly what we want we want to return the receiver itself why, why are we not returning a pointer because this says that we want to return a reference ok. This says we want to return a reference and the references and references are to variables. So, here we should not be having pointers but we should be having references. So, then a reference can be picked up. So, we should write star this over here. Okay, so, this is the keyword and this would mean the receiver itself and the value of an assignment var equal to expression is var. So, the assignment must return var as a result and hence the return value is star this ok. So, that was assigning a character string constant to one of our string variables, but we would also like to be able to assign one of our string variables to another of our string variables. So, we want to allow code such that 
a equal to b, a equal to pqr and b equal to a, all right. So how do we do this? So the statement b equal to a is going to call, is going to be looked upon by C++ as this statement. So it is the object b and we are making a member function call on it. So b is the receiver okay, and the argument is a. All right. So this is another assignment and it is very similar to the assignment that we made earlier except that now the argument is not char star but it is a string variable. Okay. And if you want to get the actual string that we want copied, we have to go through its pointer. Okay. So we will do that. So yeah, so we want a member function operator which takes string as an argument. We already have a member function which takes cars const char star as an argument, but we can have another. Okay. So we can overload, we can have more functions so long as the signatures are different. Okay, so this time we have string reference returning re being returned, name of the member function is operator equal to in, in the class string and the argument this time is not const char star but const string reference RHS. Okay. So I could have had RHS over here but I do not really want unnecessary copying and therefore I am going to just get a reference to it. So we have to be a little bit careful in all of this okay? and in principle our programmer is allowed to write something like A equals A. Okay? So A equals A is really nonsense but it is not disallowed and therefore we had better deal with it. Okay? So the best way to deal with things like this is to just make a special case. So what we are going to say is that if this, if the receiver is the same, okay, if the address of the receiver is the same as the address of the right hand side, then that means we are in this situation. So in that case, we have nothing to do, but we can just return this object itself. Okay? And of course, a reference to that gets returned, but we are returning this object itself. Okay, so suppose uh, now for the rest of the code that the receiver is different from this right hand side. Okay, so we are in a situation not like this, but we are in a situation like whatever A equals B, where A and B are different strings. Okay, in that case, as argued earlier, we are going to change PTR and if PTR points to something and PTR will be pointing to something, okay, we have to release that memory. So for that we have to issue delete PTR and delete PTR is fine even if PTR is null by the way, okay. so, so that is not an issue. Okay. But if, delete, if PTR is not null then we have to return that memory back to the heap and that is what this statement is going to end up doing. Okay. Then as before we are going to make a copy of the string in the RHS on the heap. Okay. So for this as before we will allocate length which is RHS.PTR, length of RHS.PTR plus 1 that 1 is again to store that null PTR. Okay. And this is done quite easily by a very similar statement as before length of RHS.PTR plus 1. Okay. So that much memory we are going to allocate on the heap. Okay. And we are going to copy, we are going to copy the memory that RHS points to or the string that RHS, is, uh, RHS uh, contains is being now copied to the receiver as well. So PTR which is the receiver's pointer, the address that it points to will now contain whatever is contained in RHS.PTR. Okay. So for this we again use the scopy function, so it just essentially transfers characters from uh, copies characters from here to here okay, at corresponding displacements. And finally again as before we are going to return this, the variable that this points to. Okay. That is it. Okay. 
So what have we discussed? We have discussed how to implement the assignment operator. Okay. Uh, so I should say by suitably defining member function operator equal to and we define two member functions operator equal to uh, one which takes as argument const char star and another which takes as argument another string object. In the next segment we will be talking about the implementation of the other operators but before that we will take a quick break. <laughs>